So, the next topic, favorite topic of the examiner of rheumatoid arthritis, if you take the last 15 years NEET PG exam, SLE. So many times questions came on SLE. Let us become Mahagyani in SLE in the next half an hour. Onion skin spleen. Onion skin ke jese, agar spleen ka dissection kare to, spleen dikta hai, onion skinning ke jese. Where do you see? We see it in SLE. So this is a typical splenic nodule which is being disclosed where there is a central or a pencillary arteries so called onion skin lesion of the spleen in case of the SLE is what you have to remember. Now doctor, I am going to make you the expert in this very very important Topic which is called as auto antibodies in SLE. You should not forget. Give me the board. A N A. What is the importance of A N A? So, this is the one which can be used as a screening test. Because of a good sensitivity, sensitivity, not specificity. Always screening test ko, baut jada kya reta? Sensitivity jada reta. So that is what you see with the A and A is what you need to remember. Now, DS, DNA, iska story kya hai? Pada pad bolo. It is typically seen to monitor a nephritis, patient who nephritis hai. Hematuria is there, high blood pressure is there. You are suspecting possibility of SLE. Then if DSDNA is there, that is an important sign that this nephritis is a SLE nephritis. And also, this is a specific test for the SLE is what you need to remember. Then, U1 R N P. What is the importance of U1 R N P? By jara naya sketch pen lelo. Huh? Student subscription fee nahi pay kar rahe kya? Huh? You medical app mein. Sare log free dek rahe. No, no. Our students are wonderful students. They will also pay uh, subscription fee in you medical so that we can buy new pen. Huh? U1 RNP is ka significance kya hai? Bolo yaar. So, Jogren syndrome mein. Jogren syndrome mein. Right? U1 RNP is what you typically see. Then, Smith antigen. Kaha dikta hai? What is the importance of Smith antigen? It is also very specific for the SLE is what you have to remember. Then uh, uh, there is a histone antibody. What is the importance of histone antibody? Drug induced lupus may, drug induced lupus may, this is a very important Antibody is what you need to remember. Then, very commonly asked question. Can you just go around to check any better pens are there? Yeah. I hope uh, these things are all visible, right? One question definitely out of this is going to come. Isle mai thoda dire dire ja raho. Taki aapke mind mein register bhi hona hai. Pada pad pada pad slides change kare to maza nahi hai, right? So, histone. There are some things, doctor. I say, top is kaise karna. A pen lena, paper lena, dosh ke saath bite na, reading room mein. By U and R and P ka hota hai. Smith antigen ka hota hai. Histone antibody ka hota hai. Khatam, 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 khatam. So, both of you are in the agreement. Right? I say, slowly jane wala topics kuch hota hai. List. 5000 list hota hai. These are all available in the UMedico app. You can bookmark them and then set them to get reminders, right?
now doctor <coughs> anti ribosomal ribosomal p antibody p antibody kis mein hota hai anti ribosomal p antibody lupus involves the brain which is called cns lupus doctor cns lupus mein this question is going to come in the tomorrow's dnb exam anti ribosomal p antibody hota hai cns lupus mein that is what you have to be very 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 sure about <clears throat> now can you give me the slide this is called can you give me the slide you have given yeah <clears throat> this is called diffuse lupus nephritis diffuse lupus nephritis comes under class 4 of uh, lupus nephritis lupus nephritis is in turn divided into class 1 2 3 4 5 5 examiner will ask you which one is class 1 which is class 2 which is class 3 which is class 4 bah tomorrow you want to become a simple uh, surgeon do you need to remember all this still for the entrance sake you have to remember so doctor isko kehte hain diffuse lupus nephritis which is class 4 iska importance kya hai most serious most common type of the lupus nephritis is which type what is your answer class 4 is what you need to basically remember most common most serious type of the lupus nephritis is diffuse lupus nephritis is class 4 is what you are going to remember so you can see extensive subendothelial immune complexes and circumferential thickening of the capillary wall which is looking like the wire loops wire loop appearance is the classical picture of sle nephritis is what you need to basically remember <clears throat> now this is a interesting question there will be a non bacterial verrucous endocarditis in case of the lupus and what is the speciality of it typically if you take the leaflet the leaflet both atrial side ventricular side dono side hota hai non bacterial verrucous endocarditis of the lupus is what you have to remember that is the speciality of the lupus lupus endocarditis favorite question how is the lupus endocarditis how does it present vegetation is present on the both sides of the leaflet hota hai the lupus endocarditis is what you have to remember 